afternoon all of you <clears throat> good afternoon sir let's start with the remaining part of our <clears throat> uh, the content that we have started yesterday that is the ICT for the development and the e-governance yesterday we have discussed the, some important topics related with that like what do you mean by the ICT then uh, what is the government governance responsibility of the governor uh, governments then what do you mean by the economics economy etc etc and uh, today we'll focus on the what how ict can help for the development and the e governance so yesterday already we have uh, in details we have discussed the what exactly the economics is economy is okay so just uh, we have the recap or recap or recap of that and uh, then we'll move forward so in the uh, economy and the economics we have discussed that there are the two terms two or three terms are important like the goods and the services so the goods are nothing but the what we can say the kind of physical object okay which the human beings can buy and uh, utilize it for the satisfaction of their want and the satisfaction of their need and so that object can you can easily see it and you can easily touch it that's why this is being considered as a tangible uh, object okay or the tangible product or the tangible commodity etc which can be easily delivered to the common public or the customer so whenever you purchase something okay then that comes under the category of the goods if that is the physical object so here i have mentioned some of the examples of the goods like your computers cars bikes uh, washing machine fridge mobile phones sweets clothes say food dvd player ipods uh, in the vegetables also whatever you buy that everything comes out of the food like tomato potato okay whatever things apple these all the things are come under the category of the goods understood so goods are nothing but the what we can say the kind of the physical object which can be easily purchased by the human being and related with which we can say it involves the transfer of ownership and possession from seller to the buyer so if you purchase the computer from somebody that computer becomes yours if you purchase it and as your buyers the rights of that computer will transfer to you similar for the all these kind of objects so these are nothing but the goods now what is exactly the service then service is nothing but the when the somebody work for you okay when somebody work for you then that part we can say it is a service like here i have mentioned service is an activity of performing the work for others now if you giving the service to the others like that in case i can say that service is an activity of performing the work for others if somebody perform the work for you then we can say service is an activity of getting the work done from somebody else understood now in the related to that i have mentioned here different example of services like banking service insurance service educational service hair cutting or the hair dressing service public transport service entertainment service these all the things comes under the category of service okay and higher i and that's why uh, we can say the service is as a intangible activities because it uh, we cannot see it but only we can experience it understood okay so these are the uh, main difference we can have between the goods and services also below in short i have mentioned one of the main difference between the goods and services is the that goods are the produce and the service are perform is it correct yes or no goods are produce and service the service is perform getting the meaning of this goods are produce and services are perform yes yes so so these are the different goods you can say these are these get produced but these are the services which get performed for us by somebody 
or you can perform that for somebody understood now and in related to these all these things we have seen the concept of economics and the economy now if if uh, now in case if you apply the concept of the economy here now if related with the economy what what exactly you are having from the different services okay whether you are having the cars you are having the bikes mobile phone etc etc you can able to utilize all these kind of services etc etc then we can say you are having the your economy of your home is very good but if you could not able to if you don't have this kind of goods and if you can't able to utilize this kind of services then we can say you don't have the good your home don't have that particular kind of good economy the same thing is applied to the governments and to the economy of the certain country also okay then what is the economics economics is nothing but you are having all these things okay you are having all these things now how you are utilizing that whether you are utilizing it in the proper manner or not asa 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 chalel ka tumche kade paise bharpur ahet ani mag tumhi kashe kharch kele tari chaltil asa chalel ka no no means you need you need the certain knowledge regarding the how you can utilize your goods and services and the resources that things comes under the category of economics okay now you know to produce that all the kinds of goods and services okay that i have shown you as an example you need the you need to utilize the different resources now what come what things comes under the resources like in the resources comes the labors tools land water money different kind of whatever other kind of raw materials are required to produce the goods and services that everything comes under the category of the resources okay and so here i have mentioned the state or condition of country or some region or state or individual house in terms of the production and consumption of the goods and services and the supply of money ki ekada gharamade ki jar 30000 mahinyala pagar yet asel ani tumhi jar 40000 kharch karat asal tar tya gharachi economy changli aye ase manta yel ka aplyala no no because their consumption is more as compared with the production yes or no yes sir yes sir and using that 30000 how you manage your all the expenditure of your home how you manage all the expenditure of home that is nothing but the economics it is the branch of knowledge and decision concern with production consumption and transfer of goods and service how you utilize that 30000 how you manage your home within that 30000 that is nothing but the called as the economics uh, how much you are having that is the economy how much you are having how much you are producing and how much you are consuming based on that your economy is get decided understood these terms i hope all of you have got the clear point now economy and the economics yes yes sir yes sir now let's move towards our point of the ict now what we have to discuss here whether the ict can help the particular government or particular uh, common public or uh, state central government for the purpose of economic development that is my question is it possible that using the ict that the economic development and the rural growth of certain country can be increase is it possible using the ict economic development and rural growth of certain countries can be increase is it possible can ict help help can we can we get the help of the ict for the economic development purpose Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. And that is the reason most of the developing countries, as well as developed countries from countries like the India and our different Asian countries and countries from the Europe, uh, Europe also, they are taking the help of the ICT for the purpose of economic development and the growth of the developing countries. Okay, and this that is the reason we can say the ICT playing the very good role in the human development and the poverty. eradication poverty in the in, uh, meaning is what 
दारिद्र ओके गरीबी सो आईसीटी कैन प्ले द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट एंड द पॉवर्टी एरिडिकेशन एरिडिकेशन ओके बिकॉज हाउ इट कैन हेल्प now you can see the government even the government is having the desire to help the people okay to help the people provide services to the people but if the government is not having the proper information if the government is not having the uh, what you can say timely information available then it is not possible for the government also to provide the good services to the common public understood and but if the ict is get deployed which is now getting deployed in each countries and our country is also providing the number of services to the through the ict as so if the ict get deployed if the ict is get utilized in the countries then gathering and accessing and analyzing and utilize of information can be easily made and using that social and the economic development can be increased so if you utilize the ict accessing the government can access the information of people easily yes or no if the ict is get utilized government can easily access the information of the common public is it possible yes sir also public also public can send can send their information to the uh, government very easily and using that information by utilizing that information can government also take the decisions yes sir yes and because of that because of that the time of the government can also get saved yes time yes. of the government will get saved yes, as well as government money will get saved government manpower will get saved the government can give the fast service to the public government can uh, what you can say the transparency will also increase the corruption will also get decrease yes or no yes sir yes. as well as yes, now because of that confidence will also increase uh, of the common public related with the government understood as well as the common public uh, money will also get saved their effort will also get saved their time will get also saved but when this is become possible when particular country will have the good ict infrastructure and particular countries having the uh, when when the particular country is providing the different kind of government services through the ict okay so my question is to you what kind of different services we are experiencing today which you are getting as a as a as a part of the ict through by utilizing the ict which government services are there can you give me the some example which government services are available for the common public through the ict nowadays online income tax you can fill the income tax online very good then now you are also filling your scholarship form online correct now you if you are facing some problem you also used to send the mail correct yes sir yes now because of that your time is getting save your money is also getting save now no need to go far nowadays you are paying the college fee through the online portals that is also through the ict that is also the that is also the functioning of the ict yes or no yes sir correct as you are filling the your income tax form through the online you are filling your scholarship from through the online can we call it as a e governance yes sir exactly uh, you can call it as a e governance because the services that before some 10 years 15 years you were able to perform where physically you have to go to the certain offices and fill your forms etc etc but nowadays these things are available online understood because of the ict and that's why that is being come under the category of the e governance the services which is provided by the 
government the communication which is done by the government using the using the ict that is nothing but the called as the e governance correct yes sir and if the ict were not able if the ict were not there then it become now that become very difficult to reach the people to reach the huge uh, uh, huge number of people and send them information or provide them information it will take the too much amount of time and that is the reason ict have emerged as a powerful player in the development you know to achieve the development okay you know to improve the communication you know to exchange the information etc etc and that is the reason ict is being considered as a major tool for the social economic development okay let's see some more points and uh, because of that because of these uh, different kind of services being provided through the ict and it is also helping the most of the developing countries and the developed countries also in the developed countries you can take the example of usa okay japan these are the developed countries they are also utilizing the ict in huge uh, uh, huge amount and they have started utilizing the ict before the before our countries before the developing countries that's why these developed countries are very much forward to us okay they are more powerful as compared with the us because they have started utilizing the ict before us and they are having the more powerful tools and the resources related with the ict so we can say the itc serve as a medium that transmit the information and knowledge to the citizen of the country okay so through the ict we are getting the different kind of knowledge also you can see the internet is available you can search any kind of information that you want there you can search about the any kind of job that you want there you can search about the any kind of course that you want to do so these different things are possible through the ict and that is the reason here we can say ict is also main tool in the development of the any kind of countries okay so challenge in front of the any countries is nothing but what how they can reach to the maximum number of people and how they can how they can uh, how how they can pass their information how they can pass their services how they can give their services to the maximum number of people and this can only possible if if there is a utilization of ict because of the ict fast delivery service can be performed information can reach to the common public very easily and that is nothing but the support for the that is considered as a support and sustainable human development can be become possible because of the ict and that is the reason number of countries are doing the huge investment in the ict and so india is also doing the huge investment in the ict so that number of government services can be provided through the ict now why there is a need of in doing the investment in the ict if now in order to run the ict we need that kind of infrastructure you, you, if you want to give the services to the public you need to connect each and every gram panchayat through the internet it is it the requirement yes or no yes sir yes and for that purpose government is doing the lot of investment government is trying to uh, connect the different towns uh different uh, uh, villages through the internet so that the government services can directly reach to the common public and that's why india is also doing the huge huge investment in the ict okay so main uh, advantages we can get through the ict is nothing but what there is a huge enhancement in the transparency because of the ict transparency can be increased yes or no yes what do you mean by the transparency yes sir what do you mean by the transparency transparency means what now now most of the developing countries are facing the problem of what corruption yes or no most of the developing yes. the yes, sir. corruption 
now if the services are being given through the ict online the corruption can be get decrease all of you are agree yes tumhi jar bagitla apli setu setu online chi website use keli hai tumcha baki kuni setu online yes nobody has utilized no sir no sir if you go to the setu online website from there you can directly apply for the caste certificate you can directly apply for the e passes you can directly apply for the income certificate okay and there all there you can directly pay the fees understood let me take you to some uh, that website let me change the my screen sharing and just tell me whether screen has changed or not Okay, here I have shown some website. Can you able to see? Yes, sir. Yes. Here you can see. Just a minute. This is your Setu online site. All of you seeing? All of you can able to see? Yes, sir. Here yes. now, yes, here sir. you can see for the income tax fees is thirty three point sixty rupees. Residential form thirty three point sixty. Age and nationality thirty three point sixty. so these are nothing but the services directly available online where you can directly if you click on for example income uh, let me okay income certificate now here you can see what are the things you need to upload here okay this everything is given here okay and you can after doing all these things you can continue after reading all these things you can fill your whole information here and you can apply for the and you can also do the payment also you can see here yes you can do after filling this this will get enabled you can do the payment also ata ida tumhala 33 rupaye paksha jasta paise pay karav lagtil ka sanga mala no pan jar mag asa physically gele tar tumhala kadhi kadhi jasta paise deva lagtat Yes or no? Yes, sir. That is called as the transparency. Getting? If form chief is thirty six a sale, then you have thirty six pay karal na. Understood? Why should you pay more than the thirty three rupees? Correct or not? Yes, sir. And so the corruption is getting avoided, getting uh, corruption is getting reduced because of these uh, online services. All of you agree? yes sir and likewise you can see different kind of various services you can make available just i told you like scbc caste certificate non premier ews age nationality these all the things are there so this is a setu online site okay now let me show you uh, regarding the another also now income tax filling he from here the employees can directly fill their income tax okay now if you go outside to fill the income tax there also you have to pay the more monies but if you have knowledge how to fill the inform uh, income tax then you can register yourself here and you can fill the you can pay the income tax okay then let me take you to some another uh here now related with the security also you can complaint or you can lodge the particular online complaint also now this is the site of mumbai police okay you can lodge your complaint fir directly online also no need to go to the police station because of these things your time is getting save your money is getting save government money is getting save and result of that will is nothing the result of that will be nothing but it will help to save the government money if the government money will get save the gdp of the country will get increase the economy of the country will get increase all of you are agree yes sir and that is the reason development of the country will also increase now this is another site of mahabulek which is being here here for the farmers or anybody else you can download your satbara utara and other kind of uh, different kind of information related to your land okay 
you have to just select from here your district and you can download all these things no need to go to the tahsil office and all that offices now this is another very important site now this is the sarthi parivahan how many of you are having the two wheeler licenses is there anybody who is having the two wheeler license two wheeler license yes boys no sir nobody is having the two wheeler license then how you are driving the two wheeler do you know how how what is the process to get the license tejas how you can how you can get the license to drive the two wheeler you need to go to the rto office you need to fill up the form physically then you need to give the what you can say driving test tumhala gaadi chalavta yete ki nahi and you all nowadays you also have to give the mcq question exam also mcq test okay related related with the rules of the driving and etc etc so but and there you have to pay the money to the agents also more than 1000 more than uh, 1500 like this whatever it it may be but now government has provided you the online site that is the sarthi parivahan and from this site you can directly apply you can directly apply for the licenses of two wheeler four wheeler etc etc okay now remaining thing is what you have to just give the exams here from here you can see all the things are there you you can do the application apply for the driving license check payment statements upload the documents which are required for the license etc etc okay i myself has created my license from this site within only 200 rupees but including the four wheeler and if you enquire outside you can see more than 2000 and 3000 rupees are required if you go to take the license or if you try to get the license through the agent and that all manual process is it nothing but the good thing yes or no yes sir so if anybody want they can take they can apply for the license from this site likewise there is a website related to the electricity from which you can check your bills you can pay your bills etc etc now this is another site that is the pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana okay from this site the farmers okay they can apply for the peak bima tumhi aikla sel peak bima yes yes sir peak bima jar tumhi you can you can fill the peak bima directly online also pan tumhi to peak bima jar as bahar ekada center la भरायला गेला तर तुमच्याकडून तिथे जास्त पैसे घेतले जातात यू कॅन सी युअर फार्मर कॉर्नर इन्शुरन्स प्रीमियम कॅल्क्युलेटर ऍप्लिकेशन स्टेटेड एसेट्रा एसेट्रा सो यू कॅन फील युअर पीक विमा फॉर्म फ्रॉम हिअर दिस इज द सर्व्हिस फॉर द फार्मर्स देन दिस इज अनदर साईट दॅट इज नाव दिस इज युअर महाडीबीटी पोर्टल नाव यू मस्ट हॅव युटिलाइज इट येस ऑर नो येस सर ओके अँड लास्टली दिस यू कॅन से मनरेगा तुम्ही ऐकला असेल मनरेगा योजना मनरेगा योजना महात्मा गांधी नॅशनल रुरल एम्प्लॉयमेंट गॅरंटी ऍक्ट मनरेगा ऐकले का नाही मनरेगा ओके दिस इज अनदर गव्हर्नमेंट साईट दिस इज अनदर गव्हर्नमेंट साईट फ्रॉम व्हिअर यू कॅन अप्लाय फॉर द डिफरंट रोजगार्स अँड द जॉब्स ओके सो यू कॅन सी इफ दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्व्हिसेस आर बीइंग मेड अवेलेबल okay this kind of services being available uh, through the what you can say ict if the screen change all of you can see yes 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 so now we can see here this kind of different kind of services we can get if the ict infrastructure of your country is in the 
good position and because of that lot of money can get saved and this can because of that the development of the country can increase and that concept is nothing but this providing services through this all these uh, online portal is nothing but the called as the e governance okay and that is the reason you know the most of our population of the india lives in the village and that's why to improve their prosperity growth and development it is required that every should everybody should come under the fold of this national e governance plan तर ह्या सगळ्या सर्व्हिसेस सगळ्या लोकांपर्यंत पोहोचणे गरजेचं आहे अँड दॅट इज द रिझन इंडिया अवर कंट्री इज ट्राईंग फॉर दॅट टू कनेक्ट द डिफरंट सिटीज विलेजेस थ्रू द इंटरनेट सो हिअर आय मेन्शन अबाउट द टर्म ई गव्हर्नन्स विच इज फोकसिंग ऑन द यूज ऑफ द न्यू आय सी टी विच इज फोकसिंग ऑन द युटिलायझेशन ऑफ न्यू इन्फॉर्मेशन अँड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नॉलॉजी विच इज बिंग युटिलाइज बाय गव्हर्नमेंट इन ऑर टू प्रोव्हाइड देअर फंक्शनॅलिटी ऑर इन ऑर टू प्रोव्हाइड देअर सर्व्हिसेस टू द कॉमन पब्लिक and what kind of services can be provided that just i have shown you also here i have mentioned another definition of the eu governance it is the application of ict for delivering the government services for delivering the government services for exchange of information for communication transaction and other services between the government and the citizens and the services between the government and the businesses also जर एखाद्याला इफ समबडी वॉन्ट टू इफ समबडी वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट द स्टार्ट द न्यू बिझनेस देन ही कॅन ऑल्सो अप्लाय फॉर द बिझनेस ऑनलाईन बाय अपलोडिंग देअर डॉक्युमेंट्स अँड ही कॅन ऑल्सो गेट द अप्रुवल थ्रू द गव्हर्नमेंट बाय ऑनलाईन ओनली नो नीड टू गो टू द फिजिकली टू दॅट पर्टिक्युलर ऑफिस सो सो हिअर वी कॅन सी द गव्हर्नमेंट बिंग द इम्पॉर्टंट सर्व्हिस प्रोव्हायडेड नाव इफ दिस काइंड ऑफ सर्व्हिसेस हॅज टू बी युटिलाइज बाय द पब्लिक then government has to what we can say motivate the public government has to first make the public literate now main drawback or the main obstacle by in order to uh, in order to utilize the services being provided through the ict is nothing but the literacy literacy in the sense what the public should be able to handle the computers etc etc all of you are agree correct if the common public could not able to uh, uh, operate the computer etc then is it possible to provide this kind of services easily yes sir so literacy regarding the computers and utilization of this ict is very important thing okay and for that purpose government has to motivate the their different employees and also they need to motivate the public so that they can utilize the maximum services through the ict okay as already we have seen the because of the ict e governance we can increase the efficiency of the different operation being provided by the government and the services being provided by the government transparency can increase citizen participation participation can increase okay as well as the trust of the public will also increase on the government citizen awareness will increase and what we can say uh, the confidence of the people on the democracy will also increase and result of all these things can is nothing but increase in the national economic growth the country's gdp can be also increase because of all these kind of utilization of ict for the development and the uh, e governance okay now accordingly that there are the different uh, schemes or the services are being introduced by the government and day by day government are introducing the different services through the ict some of them already i have shown you like the mahatma gandhi national rural development rural employment guarantee that is the manrega online income tax online excise vat you can uh, operate uh, you can modify your other details you can apply for the adars setu sites are there so these projects have successfully implemented projects are there and providing the excellent services to the public nowadays okay because of this as already we have discussed the people's time getting saved government time getting saved money people's uh, people's money government money is also getting saved transferees also transferences also getting increase okay and now if you want to utilize this ict in the huge amount then we need the infrastructure and the designing of the ict in that way because if the ict infrastructure is not available okay 
if the what we if, if you say in the particular village there is a no internet tar mag government cha services tya gaava madhe milu shaktil ka yes if there is a no internet service in certain village is it possible that people can utilize the services through the ict no and that is the reason it is required that infrastructure related with the ict is also need to be robust it also need to be stronger so that everybody can utilize that infrastructure madhe kay kay goshti etil what do you mean by the infrastructure of the ict which things comes under the infrastructure of the ict yes tejas which things will comes under the infrastructure of the ict yes all of you can hear me ict infrastructure means what hmm ICT infrastructure, exactly network, internet, uh, router, जा कई गुस्ती, okay, that everything is related with the networking. That things comes under the infrastructure of the IT, uh, ICT. Then the okay, uh, that uh, what you can say, lease line services, fiber optics cable. These everything comes under the ICT infrastructure. So ICT need to be stronger. and ict need to be there everywhere if you want to utilize the government services through the ict and in the infrastructure already we have discussed networking part that uh, uh, what you can say the survey, uh, the things which is required to take the internet to that villages fiber optic cables networking components this everything comes computers etc etc everything comes under the ict infrastructures and uh, here you can see Uh, because of the ICT, there is a huge flow of the information, and the sharing of the information can happen between the government to citizen, citizen to citizen. This knowledge can be shared easily and the fastly. Services can be reached to the public from the government fastly, as well as government feedback can be reached to the uh, sorry people feedback can be reached to the government fastly, and according to that, government can make changes in their schemes. Okay, or the services now for as i said everything is being uh, government is trying to give the services through the ict and uh, so that is the reason now there is a no need to stand in line and you know to get the some kind of services okay and because everything is being available on the click of button now whatever services you want you can get it available if you want to file the complaint if you want to fill some forms etc etc everything is now available within a click of the button okay and uh, because of that the positive positive impact is there on the life of the public and that is also helping uh, to improve the social economic structure of the committee and that is increasing the speed of the public service delivery delivery also okay because of the ict cost of the processing increase the transparency ensure that the government schemes are reaching to the public so through the ict government can easily ensure ki te je services provide karta hai te sagya lokam paryanta pohchta hai ki nahi understood as you can see through the now the ma dbt portal is a very good exa example of that now if you see the before uh, 5 years or the 10 years the scholarship we are coming into the account of the college you must be knowing these things yes or no yes sir but nowadays you can see the scholarship coming in the account of the students understood and because of that government can ensure that the money is reaching to the right people understood so that is nothing but the what we can say another important advantage related with the ICT increase in the transparency. Government can ensure that all the government scheme can reach to the right people and the people who are needing that. And because of that, the income generation is also occurring. And uh, now, in order to utilize these kind of services, government services through the ICT, the all already we have discussed. The we need government need to utilize the appropriate technology. and government to need to ensure that the connectivity 
of the internet must be there for each and every public that is the most important thing then uh, if you if you are uh, providing the services through the as a part of the e governance then the availability of such center such kind of facilities must be available in each government offices okay such kind of centers must be available if if you feel, if you fill the form uh, for the caste certificates or for the uh, nationality then in order to handle this kind of services the people must be there in the government offices okay and they should give you the response related with that so availability of centers where these services can be available now you can see that is the reason uh, government uh, uh, ek services ai bata government che pratyek gaav madhe kay mhanto apan tala de uh, related with what 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 kind of services available there now it's in the each village it is available okay where the government has a uh, government has uh, a selected one particular person from that particular village and uh, actually one particular name is the, there for that i am not remembering that e seva kendra what e seva kendra have you heard this yes sir baka pratyek gaav madhe ata ase centers alele ahet through this ki gaav madhe ekada vyakti la ata jar talukyala jayna possible nasel ki tyala paise एखाद बैंके मध्य डिपॉजिट कराए सो थ्रू दैट ई सेवा केन्द्र ही कैन गिव दैट मनी टू दैट पर्टिक्युलर पर्सन एंड ही कैन दैट पर्सन कैन डिपॉजिट दैट मनी टू द अकाउंट ऑफ दैट फार्मर थ्रू द इंटरनेट बैंकिंग अंडरस्टू सो दिस डिफरंट सर्विसेस कैन बी अवेलेबल एंड दिस 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 कैंड ऑफ सेंटर्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिफरंट विलेजेस ऑल्सो रिलेटेड विद द सर्विसेस विच इज बींग प्रोवाइडेड एज अ ई गवर्नस और द ई सर्विसेस and uh, because of this kind of services we can see the there is a kind of confidence building happens in the mind of the people in the mind of the common public and uh, people have the uh, the confidence building now you can see now related with the scholarship you can tell it take the example of confidence building can be happen because of the ict yes or no karan tumhala mait aste ki paise aaple account madhe yenar ahet no so nobody can make the nobody can make the misuse of that money अंडरस्टूड जर ते पैसे जर वॉट यू कैन से जर ते पैसे जर कॉलेज अकाउंट मध्य जा तुम्हार मना एक भीति एम आई राइट यस और नो बरबर ना तुम्हें जर स्कॉलरशिप पैसे जर कॉलेज अकाउंट मध्य जा स्कॉलरशिप पैसे जर व्यतिरिक्त तुम्हारे अकाउंट मध्य तो कुछ लोग चांगली है अकाउंट अकाउंट ही ना ना करेक्ट और नॉट सो बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ दैट कॉमन पब्लिक कॉन्फिडेंस गेट इंक्रीज रिलेटेड विद द गवर्नमेंट अंडरस्टूड कि स्कॉलरशिप आज तुम्हारा डायरेक्ट करते अकाउंट मे स्कॉलरशिप आगे समझते करेक्ट और नॉट सो दीज आर दिंग्स विच इज बी गेटिंग प्रोवाइडेड थ्रू द आईसीटी and because of that you can see that we are getting the different kind of advantages okay so this is everything now on this part the question is being asked number of times the theoretical question uh, where the instead of asking the question directly the question can be asked explain the e governance or directly can be asked explain the ict or a question can be asked like how ict is helping for the development and the e governance or you might be asked the question explain the different services provided through the e governance okay so different questions are possible on this topic okay we have covered the too much details on this okay and i hope all of you have got the this point of the ict for the development and the e governance yes yes sir okay so any doubt related with this any question that you want to ask yes
हेलो नो क्वेश्चन ओके सो दैट्स इट दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वन ओनली द लास्ट पॉइंट रिमेनिंग रिलेटेड विद द थर्ड थर्ड यूनिट इज रिमेनिंग and that is only the case study that we'll see next time okay thank you sir okay sir okay that's it thank you all of you